Welcome to another edition of the Tiger Men's Basketball Report. I'm your host, Spiro Marikas, along with the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary, and coach this past week, the Tigers, uh, kind of a rough week uh, playing Northern Iowa in Chicago, a game that you let in halftime, but the Panthers were able to overtake the Tigers and win 83-66 to on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, I thought, you know, Northern Iowa was good. Uh, the record wasn't great, but there'll be a factor in their league. Um, they've, they've played a, a very difficult schedule. Um, you know, we got out of sorts the last six six minutes of that game. You know, I got a, a I got a technical, which I hadn't had, I think, about eight years, uh, so which, you, which you never want to get. And um, we, we can fouled we ask, a lot. Can, can we ask why you got a technical? You know, uh I, I wish I had gotten it for um, saying something aggressive. Um, you know, it was on the rebounding foul. The one I was trying to figure out was the, uh, I believe it was on when uh, the guy threw an elbow that they called an offensive foul on. And then they changed the call and said, our guy ducked, he, he, you know, he ducked out of his way. My whole argument was what he has to wait till he gets hit. Uh, before an, like an elbow's coming, you know, so I didn't get a great explanation. And, and, and quite honestly, we, we had, you know, I knew that was a possible coming in. We had two guys. One guy did the Southern Illinois game the night before. You know, I know he was on a 5 a.m. flight the next morning uh, because our old athletic director sent me a message and told, and told me that. He said, good luck with this guy. And, and he was right. Uh, not a guy that we get a lot, uh, but obviously a travel weary and non-communicative guy. That was a shame, really, um, that a guy can make that kind of money and not feel the need to talk or explain. So, But it's not why we lost. Let's get that straight. We lost because um, you know, we turned the ball over on 26% of our possessions, and our, uh, which obviously affects your defense. And our defense let us down in the, in the second half. But that didn't take away from you know, the kid. Bone was terrific. He lived at the foul line. Um, and, you know, we just uh, – I thought we had a couple pretty good days of practice, albeit we, we hadn't have Cam all week in practice because we've been fighting a viral infection. Um, but, you know, we, we've uh, – we, we got one more here, Spiro, that we, we just got to – we, we got to kind of get back to work. Um, nobody's – you know, so it, there's a lot of basketball left. Uh, but, you know, we're 8-4, and four, not where we wanted to be, uh, but certainly not brutal, but we, we've got to get some guys back and – we got to get practicing, you know, get get back in that routine, which um, which I believe we will. Well, you know, and and it's been a a brutal travel schedule over the last month, and I know a lot of times you want to give guys rest because it has been kind of taxing <clears throat> to get on the road, and you haven't had that, you know, getting into the routine of practice that you would like to have. No, we tried. You know, we had a couple of days last week. It was it was good to get some practice? Like I said, Cam was out all week. Um, you know, it's just as you know, his eye and his face are all messed up with a, an infection and viral, and so. But he like he grinded it out for the game, and um, we will practice a couple of days this week before we play. Obviously, play a very good opponent in Bryant. Um, these things will get us ready for the conference, and then you know, we the good thing about our scheduling on league is it's all that stuff gets thrown out in the wash and it's, it's everybody's pretty much on the same playing field when you get to the, you get to the league, you know, um, I made the schedule. I, I know why I made the schedule. Um, I do believe it's going to benefit us uh, as we hopefully learn and grow from some of these experiences, but yeah, good. Like, you know, hey, great hotel, great to play in NBA arena. We had a pretty smooth trip out initially till we waited at the airport for over an hour for, for our bags. And you and I talked about uh, different streaming shows on HBO and Netflix. So, you know, it wasn't ideal how late we got, how late we get to the hotel, you know, but we went pretty smooth up to that point. It was hard to, it was hard to control. We didn't do a good job of controlling baggage claim. Well, you know, now we both know what shows we like. <laughs> anyway, um, you mentioned Bryant coming up on Thursday. Uh, and this is a team that, that's got a win against Syracuse. Um, they've got a lot of transfers that have come in. Uh, this is a very talented basketball team. Yeah, maybe as talented a team as we've played uh, to date. You know, explosive offensively. You got to take care of the ball. You're on the road. And it, also because it gets them. And then they really shoot the three. They play incredibly fast. And they have talented 
playmakers. Jared Grasso is, is a guy I have a lot of respect for, and he's done a tremendous job there. They were an NCAA tournament team last year. It's a good series. It's a tough game, you know. Um, you know, you know, Timberlake and 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 and, and, and Sharif, uh, and Antoine Walker, those are all guys, high-level guys from down our way. And then the kid Charlie Pride's been there. Uh, is you know returning first team all league guy can really score so they, they've they they are a, a uh, really difficult team to defend um, and, and a postseason team it's why we it's another really good opponent for us you know um, I was talking to one of my best friends in coaching today who they won a division three game by like forty over the weekend he's like hey we got worse you know uh, just the way we looked the way we executed you know and um, well, I definitely want to win, and I would have liked to win on Saturday. I do know that we've got to hopefully continue to get better. Um, but we're not there yet. You know, our guys want to get there. There's certainly frustration with that. Um, they have uh, they have expectations. We all do. But we, we've got to – our performance and ex, – our execution has to be better with game pressure, you know, um, so that we get where we want to. Um, get to, and then we do need to practice. Like I said, it's it's exciting. We just I just finished practice. We got up and down for thirty minutes today, which we've probably only done once in three weeks before that, just because of the you know just it's been tough with travel and some injuries and um, all things we're aware of. But sometimes so you go through it. You know, uh, it is what it is, right? One or two balls bounce your way, and then you're not even talking about this stuff. Well, it, you you mentioned that Brian is a team that really wants to go up and down the floor. I don't know that you've played anybody this year that really has tried to press, but not press, but, but really try to get the, the flow of the game going quickly. Yeah, they will. They'll press. And so I think, and we've got to, um, not that we won't play fast, but we've got to take care of the basketball. That's the biggest thing. You know what? Right now that the biggest difference in, in our, our team last year and this year is we've got to take care of the ball better. Um, you know, that's something we did at a outstanding level last year. We, we've got to get back to that. And, and you're talking about, you know, one to one and a half turnovers a half just being better. You know, even in the game when it started to get a little shaky, we we made a run, got it back to six or seven with the ball. We had back-to-back live ball turnovers that we paid the price on. So, um, you know, it, it's taking care of the ball for us, and then we've got to guard the three-point shot better. Um, but the ball security is as big as anything uh, to me right now, especially as we get closer to conference play. Well, Coach, we appreciate the time, and uh, we will have the broadcast for you from Rhode <laughs> Island starting at noon on Thursday. And then happy holidays and back to CQ Arena on, on uh, New Year's Eve, which I know we're all excited and looking forward to. Yeah, we'll give it everything we got on Thursday. It's a great opponent, a great challenge. Um and then that chapter closes, and you get you know everyone gets a couple of days off, which, which these guys will need, and we'll be rested and get ready for the conference. All right, coach, we appreciate the time, and we will talk to you uh, maybe next week. I'm not sure if we're doing a show next week or not because of the holidays. Well, nobody you tells know, me the, nobody tells me I'll, these things. I'll be here, Spear, and if I'm not here, we can obviously connect like we are by Zoom. All right, coach, thank you for your time, and we thank you for tuning in for another edition of the Tiger Men's Basketball Report. Have a Merry Christmas.